can tilt lead into success in poker? That is the question of this episode and let's hop right in. So what is up guys, welcome back. I am back, but at first I have to excuse myself for taking a short break. I had to work a little more the last two weeks, so I couldn't find any time to make my videos. But I'm back and here we go again. We are into the game for 200 euro as usual in this 2-2 game and let's hop into the action. So in the first hand I'm in the low jack with pocket fives. I raise to 7 euros and we get 3 callers. We see an interesting flop of 7-7-7. Seven, seven, seven. So we flop a full house but it's not the type of full house you feel very comfortable with. Anyway I see that 17 euros and all of my opponents fold. So we take down the first one. In the next one the 4 euro button straddle is on and I'm in the big blind almost next to act with ace 10 of clubs. I raise to 15 euros and it folds back to the button who decides to fall that. He raises to 40 euros. This hand is a little too good to fold right now so I call and we see a flop heads up of jack 8 4 with 2 diamonds and 1 club. So we only have 2 backdoor draws and 1 over card. Not really a good flop for our hand. So I decide to check and the button bets 45 euros. This bet in my opinion is a little too high to continue with only my backdoor draws so I decide to fold. On to the next one. In the next hand we see two limbs in early position before it folds to the button who raises to 15 euros. I'm in the small blind and look down at pocket aces. I definitely free bet here, I raise to 45 euros and it falls back to the button who jams. Dream scenario, I snap call and we see a run out, the flop comes king 8 5. The turn is a 5 and here my opponent says a king is good. So I roll over my pocket aces feeling pretty confident until the river comes out a jack and my opponent now says oh I have a set now and he shows pocket jacks. So we lose this one. At this point I'm not even dead tilted because I run pretty well over the last sessions and I rebuy for 300 euro. Only like 2 shuffles later we pick up ace queen offsuit from under the gun. I raise to 7 euros, the hijack and the button call and it folds to the big blind who 3 bet squeezes to 37 euros. He's a pretty aggressive and competent player and I think his squeeze range here is pretty wide with all the dead money in the pot and ace queen is a good candidate to call. I could consider 4 betting here but I have position on him so I decide to call. The hijack player folds but the button decides to call as well. So we go three ways to a flop of queen jack 9 with two diamonds. The big blind checks to me and here I decide to bet 55 euros. I don't want to give any free cards on this wet board and the button decides to fold but the big blind calls. So we go heads up to a turn and it brings the ace of spades. So we have top two pair, there are two flush draws on the board and he checks to me. There are already 230 euros into the pot and I have around 200 euros left behind and after some consideration I decide to jam. I don't want to see any diamond or spades on the river. I don't want to give a free card to the big blind and he might think I'm on a big draw as well and calls with a strong ace here which I'm definitely beating here I guess and for that reason I think the jam is the best option here and he thinks for a long time and decides on a Old. So we pick up a nice pot and I'm feeling pretty comfortable again after we lost this hand with the aces. On to the next one. In the next one we see a limp from the low jack and I'm in the high jack next to act with queen jack offsuit. I raise to 10 euros and the small blind, the big blind and the limper calls. So we go four ways to a flop of king queen five. 
they all check to me and I'm not sure what is the best option here. I think to check back and reevaluate on the river is a good thing, but at the moment I decide to seabed for 20 euros and the small blind and the low jack calls. So we see a turn three ways and it brings the ace of spades and they check to me again. Here I decide to take a free river and check back even though the ace is definitely a good card for my range. We see a river in form of the eight of hearts. Now the small blind shoves all in for his remaining stack of 65 euros. The low jack folds and I'm only sitting here with third pair and I'm not willing to call here the third pair. So I let my hand go and fold and we will never know, but I think I was beat here. In the following hand the 5 euro button straddle is on again. The small blind limbs, the big blind folds and I look down at jack 10 of clubs. I raise to 25 euros and it folds back to the small blinds who is the only customer and he calls. We go heads up to a flop of ace 7 deuce with 2 spades. So we completely missed this board, we only have a backdoor straight draw. But in general this board should definitely favor my range, then it favor the limpers range. So after he checks to me I bet 20 euros and he calls. We see a turn and it brings the 5 of clubs. Now my opponent checks and says something like he has to give up on this turn card, he can't continue. And at first, before he said this, I wanted to do a second barrel, but this speech play made me kinda suspicious and kinda unsure, so I check and we see a river. It brings the three of spades, so it completes the front door flush draw. And now my opponent bets 50 euros. I only have jack high and I don't think this is the time to bluff here. So I fold and my opponent shows me queen nine of diamonds. So he was telling the truth that he had to give up on this turn, but I couldn't find the second barrel, so we lose this hand. And my tilt score is slowly moving up. In the next one it folds to us in the cutoff and I look down at 6-4 of clubs. A little loose but I open to 7 euros. The button calls and the small blind calls as well. So we go 3 ways to a flop of queen, 3 deuce with 1 club. So we flop ourselves a gut shot and a backdoor flush draw. The small blind checks to me and I see bet 15 euros. The button gets out of the way and the small blind calls. So heads up to a turn and it brings the 10 of clubs. So we get our backdoor flush draw to our gut shot. But now the small blind leads into us. He donk leads 20 euros. I think this is a good price to continue. For a second I thought about raising, but this is a good price to get to our draws. So I just call and we see a river. It brings in an offsuit 4. So we have a pair at least, but otherwise we brick completely. And after some consideration, my opponent checks to me. I mean, I have some showdown value at least, so I check back. I don't turn my four into a bluff here, and he shows king queen of suit. So at least I think my check back was fine here. I don't think he would ever fold his king queen here. But to be honest, I'm getting a little frustrated. On to the next one. In the next one or two hours, I. I'm getting pretty spot dead. I got some playable hands like ace jack off suit for example but I lost about 50 euros with this one. Then some suited aces and some other playable hands but I couldn't find any good boards to continue. I guess I lose every hand I play and I chip down to about 200 euros. I'm getting more and more frustrated but then I look down at pocket aces. No better hand to turn the session around. I'm in the low jack and I raise to 7 euros and only the small blind calls. We see a flop of jack 10 for rainbow. The small blind checks to me and I bet 10 euros. He calls and we see a turn in form of the king of spades. So the board is getting more connected and he checks to me again. I still see no reason to check back here. I think I have the best hand here most of the time. So I bet 20 euros and he calls again. The river makes things worse and it brings the nine of spades. So there is a four liner to a straight. It completes the backdoor flush draw and the board is very, very connected. And even worse, now the small blind leads into me and he goes all in for his remaining stack of 65 euros. <sighs>
I don't know what to think in this situation, but with this connected board, I don't think my overpair is good most of the times here. So I reluctantly fold and I rebuy for another 200 euros. I am into the game for 700 euro total now and it's getting worse. The next few orbits continued like the last one. I had to fold most of my hands. I got some playable hands, but couldn't continue on bad flops for my hand. I chipped down again to like 240 euro. And then I pick up King Jack offsuit in the cutoff. The hijack before me raises to 10 euros. And here I make the first mistake in the hand, I guess. If I continue with King Jack offsuit here, I should free bet, I guess, or maybe fold, but calling is the worst option. In this situation I decide to call and the button player behind me calls as well and the big blind completes. So we go four ways to a flop of king 10 9 with two spades and one club. The big blind and the hijack check to me, so I am feeling pretty confident with my hand and I bet 25 euro. It falls to the hijack who is the only player who calls. We see a turn in form of the eight of hearts. He checks to me and here I could also bet to protect my equity like I did on the flop but in this situation I decide to check back. To me the board got pretty connected and I don't want to get check raised here and be in a tough spot so I check and we see a river. The river brings a blank in form of the four of diamonds. Now the hijack bets 50 euros into me. The obvious flush draw missed and I still have a decent hand with top pair medium kicker and I also block some straights with the jack of clubs. <clears throat> and I think it's too tight to full top pair here after I check the turn. So in the end I decide to call and he shows me king 8 offsuit. So he got there on the turn. Pretty unlucky for us I guess. And after the tent I stay calm on the outside. But on the inside I'm overly tilted. That shouldn't be an excuse for the next tent. But I guess the tilt really took over me. And I guess you will definitely recognize in the next tent. On to the next one. The next and last hand I want to go over definitely shows us and shows me where tilt gets you and that you definitely should not play if you are on monkey tilt like I was on this session and at the end of the session. But see yourself. I'm under the gun with 9-6 of spades and I raise to 6 euro. The hijack and the small blind call and now the big blind 3 bets. But only 3 bets to 16 euro. I don't know what kind of 3 bet it is but for 10 euros more I call and of course the hijack and the small blind call as well. We see a flop 4 ways of ace king 10 with 2 spades. So we have a flush draw at least. Now the small blind leads for 26 euro and the big blind insta calls. I'm sitting here with my flush draw and with my tilt in mind I, th I really think I have some fold equity here but if you are honest I don't. Anyway I jam for 125 and now the hijack player behind me goes into the tank and ultimately decides to call for less. The small blind snap calls for a little less and the big blind goes into the tank. I mean best case scenario is that someone has a set, maybe a straight, someone has two pair and my flush draw is alive. But in the meantime when the big blind player was thinking about his decision, my opponent in the hijack shows me one card and says he has a flush draw as well and he shows the 10 of spades. So I'm pretty much dead at this point and after some consideration the big blind finds a fold. We see a run out and the board runs out with two blanks, a seven of diamonds and and the five of hearts so we completely missed the small blind shows queen jack for the nut straight and the hijack player max i guess he had a hand like 10 8 of spades maybe 10 7 of spades so we lose this one and i only have about 20 euro left if i remember correctly i blind shove the next hand and i guess i had 10 8 of hearts and lose versus 7 5 of hearts so overall a pretty disastrous session and yeah that's where tilt gets you as you guys saw and probably already know tilt don't lead into success in poker most of the times i learned my lesson i didn't even made a session update because i was so frustrated and so tilted but here you are I was into the game for 700 euro and I was out of the game for zero euro. 
pretty bad session, but I learned my lesson as I said. I will set myself a max buy-in for the next sessions for like two to maximum three buy-ins. And if I lose, I lose. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode anyway. And if so, please leave a like and subscribe. That would help me and the channel a lot. And see you next time. Bye.